autonomic action here at Mundo Boxing and we're with two elite uh, USA uh, amateur fighters. So Tally, tell us what brought you down here. So introduce the, the lovely young lady. <laughs> so I'm here with Amelia Moore and uh, you know we're both on the Olympic team. Um, we were Olympic alternates on the USA team. What brought me down here was uh, Philip Herkovich, 2016 silver medalist. I'm in training camp with him. He's getting prepared for a fight. We did uh, three rounds today, me, and then he did three with someone else. So it was good work today. So how was it in there with the champ? Um, it was great. Um, I was utilizing my leg work, you know, moving around, popping the jab because, you know, he's a bigger guy. He's 6'5", I'm 6'3 and a half. He has a longer reach. So I got to move around a lot, you know, keep my jab on him, keep him busy, you know. Keep busy behind the jab. Keep him thinking. Absolutely. So it was good rounds. So we're here with Amelia Moore. And it's always something that I notice, like when we're working with pros, um, we still have that amateur, that like amateur tempo. And when the pros, you know, if we can keep that tempo on them, we can keep them, you know, going at a higher pace than what they're generally used to. So it's just like it's such a good look for them when they've got a very, very experienced amateur in there working with them. But it's kind of ironic. I came down here. I was working with Steffi Cohen. Um, to get some rounds in. She's got a fight coming up in Dubai. And I turn around and I, I saw Jamar and I was like, hey! And it was just like an awesome coincidence to be able to see each other and then, uh, you know, be able to stick around and, and help him with the corner and just like be here and be part of it. Because it's, you know, these bonds that we build on Team USA, it's like we travel forever. together. Yeah, it's, it seriously is forever. I mean, we train two, three times a day together and for once at a time. So, but uh, yeah, I'm just, it was such a great coincidence to be able to run into each other. So how was the work in the ring with Steffi? Because I missed that earlier. Oh, no, it's it's really good. Um, I'm excited for her fight. I'm excited to see her grow as a boxing athlete. You know, she's already a seasoned athlete as far as weightlifting, and I think that that's, like, a huge advantage for us as athletes, period. Uh, you know your body. You know yourself. So it, it puts you above having that potential to be able to grow. And she learns really, really fast. She's in great condition. She's an awesome person, like hands down, which is one of the reasons uh, that I'm actually even here, you know, part of her camp is just like, I really appreciate the human that she is. So um, good rounds, we went five rounds this morning, really pushed the tempo, um, working, moving angles, you know, just really trying to push her to help her level up and, and uh, push that growth. So, I mean, I enjoyed it. I'm happy to be here working with her two times a week. So we're doing about five rounds or so, two times a week. So what's next for you? Uh, right now, it's kind of why I'm down here in, in Florida, uh, looking at my options. If I want to do another Olympic quad, you know, it's only three years away. And if not, uh, if there's a good pro opportunity out there, then I might snatch it up. Um, but, you know, just staying getting ready, being available for opportunities, because you know how it is, the door opens, you got to be ready to walk right through it, so I'm here just getting, building my base back up, um, I was sick for a little while, I got caught COVID in March, so I had to be down for a couple months, and uh, so I'm just back here, just getting back to me. And for you, Tally, what's, what's next week? Oh, same thing as Amelia, um, I could possibly be starting pro soon if the right offer shows up, you know, but hey, I'm only 21, and 2024 is around the corner. I'll be 24 in 2024, so why not? It's just the right opportunities, you know? So um, tell me what happened in the USA, because I know you did a competition, but uh, what happened there? So same thing. You know, I was in Louisiana. I was out there at the, um, the tournament. In, in, um, where, where was that? Um, it, was, it was, I forgot the place, but it was in Louisiana. I caught COVID on my semifinals. So the day of weigh-ins, I found out I had COVID, had to pull out of the tournament, couldn't do the semis or the finals. So, you know, I'm just recovering from that. It took like a month or two. And, um, you know, I'm just getting back, you know, to being me and performing. Well, it's good seeing you because, you know, I saw you up in Tampa and I was so surprised and elated and then to come back down here and then see you like two days, you know. Yeah. You know. It was, was three days from since I saw you? Yeah, it was like three or four days. I was out there in uh, Tampa, Florida at KO Addiction. Um, Pro Box. So, yeah, it was good. They had a good show out there, you know. And um, small world, you know, you could be Tampa one day, Miami next, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, thank you for chatting with us and uh, all the best. Thank you. Shout out Autonomic Action. <laughs> all right. Thank, thank you so much. You.